And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. 68 years ago today, a woman was born in Phoenix, Arizona, and then she birthed a donkey-headed gringo. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. Ooh. Today's uh, my mom's birthday. Is it really? Yeah, July 18th. Sick. Happy birthday, The Dish. Chris the Dish, T the D. T the D, turning 68, one year shy of the sexy age. <laughs> 68. 68, dude. That's right, your mother's I'm older. Old, yeah, an old mom. Your mom fucking threw it down late in life. Late in life. She was fucking, yeah, she's like Chris Wenke of babies. And she was like, I don't care, I'm keeping it. And I'm going like, to go watch my stories. There might be retarded. I don't care. <laughs> Give me that. And then Man, my... you are past the age of this being a safe thing. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Miss, as a doctor, I can't let you have this baby. Oh, what's the worst thing that could happen? Disproportionate head? Uh, I mean, worst case scenario, huge head, deep voice, no calves. Worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario. And then it happened. Um, it all came to fruition. Happy birthday, T the D. T the D. I met I, uh, your mom that once. Yeah. I n- not at all as I was expecting. You said when you met my father, it was everything you were hoping for. <laughs> it really was, though. That was the best part. I, I, I remember you led me through the after party, and we turned a corner, and uh, your dad just turned around, and I was like, perfect. <laughs> that's how he turned yeah, around. There yeah. There he is. That's there's Gare. There he is. Gary. Right there. Gary. Uh, sons Gary. Of, sons of Gary, right again. This is a new, but not live, um, because I've gone Hollywood. But it's still new. It's new. Fuck yeah, it's new. Showbiz Soder's got to do some... Listen, bro, when I have my stunt double sit in on a bonfire. <laughs> Guys, just have my lighting dude stand there. I'll be there shortly this after my, my radio show. This is my stand-in. No, my stand-in does the radio show. <laughs> so I show up for the second hour. Hey, hey uh, Clark, you can go home. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Anyways, where are we taking it? All right. Let's look at Lou. Where are we taking it from? All right, Lou. So we're going to start from the second hour? Great. Jack, um, good to see you. My mom is pushing 60. Oh, I mean, that's that's the difference between us, young mom, old mom. Yeah, she's going to be 60 in May. Oh, the big 60. So she's, six, so she's 59 right now. Yeah, so my mom's um, nine years older than your mom. Wow. My mom, was- mom liked it. Yeah. Mama loved it late. Late in life. Mama like it late. <laughs> yeah, well, I think she just had to find a very um, fertile alcoholic to breed with. Perfect. And she did with Gary. sent him on his way. Yeah. Hey. Give me your seat. He goes, put on your corduroy shorts and get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I got what I need. Hey, you see that liquor tea in the corner? <laughs> yeah, throw it on and beat it. I got your, I got your powerful alcoholic jizz inside of it. <laughs> Grab your Schlitz tank top and get the fuck out of here. Gary was no tank top guy, but I'll tell you this. Never he, a tank top. No, but it was always liquor teas, and I respected an alcoholic that wears liquor teas. Were, was it the good ones, though, where like the, the neck collar and the sleeve hem were different colors? Uh, no, no, no. Because that's, that's a good shirt. No, it wasn't a good he shirt. He got the fucking the t-shirt box. gun shot at him <laughs> in a fucking triple-A baseball game shirt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Dude. not a good one. But he was a liquor salesman for a while, and I think he just took all the shirts. Oh, right? that's great. Yeah. Like, guy just wears his work. <laughs> oh, I guess the best. Just guys who mow their lawn and, like, you know. Oh, their own work shirts. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, and the best. It just shows commitment. It's, it shows commitment that I can respect. Steve's auto body. Oh, Is your name I, Steve? No, no, no. I'm Phil. <laughs> I, I, I work, work at Steve's there. Autos. Body. I'm actually a manager, but I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not Steve. I am not Steve. Yeah, they. Um, it's always it's it's weird to think that my mom had me so late. You know, it's not so late now though. Women are having babies clear into their forties. But your mom was gangster. Yeah, well, she was paralyzed in her twenties. Oh, so she came out of the gates like fucking. I'm ready to throw down. And then that, yeah, then she got Guillaume Beret, <laughs> and the world was like, "Hey, you're we gotta we gotta put T the D on ice." Until it, paralyzed, completely paralyzed, neck down, her entire body. She had a tracheotomy. Wow, tracheotomy. <laughs> Doctor says need a tracheotomy. Doctor says need a tracheotomy. <laughs> she's uh, and she's just back in. She jumped back in the game. Well, yeah, Guillaume Barre um is temporary. It can be temporary. So it's a disease so where she lucked out. Most people, my cousin got it too. My cousin Nick got it in Seattle, and he became completely paralyzed, and he's back now. Dude, your mom is so gangster. Yeah, she really is. She got. She's been in three major car accidents. I think my mom's the Terminator, <laughs> or she's uh, unbreakable. Yeah, <laughs> they called me Daddy Glass. 
glass. I, I'm always hurt. They call me Mr. Glass. She hates me because I'm always hurt. Mom, I sprained my ankle. <laughs> She's like, oh, how does this happen? If I would have had you five years earlier, you would have been tough as nails. Your peanut brittle bones. Yeah. Oh, I fell off my bike and I hurt my wrist. Did you hurt your knee, son? Oh, yeah. She goes, watch me. She just puts yeah. her hand over a flame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, watches, she just scalps <laughs> herself. Yeah. Nothing. And guess what? I'm going to go to, I'm like the cheerleader in Heroes. I'll go to sleep and be fine in the morning. <laughs> She, uh, oh, I, I thought I had a son. I didn't know I had a bitch. I'm like, she's the psychology, though, of like you know what it's like to like be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Dude. Like, here's the real hell thing. of effect. Every day she doesn't wake up, and her first words like, "Thank God I'm not <laughs> paralyzed anymore." I really think it almost is though. Also, I go to bed every night hoping that I wake up not paralyzed well, forever. Here's, dude, here's the crazy thing. She had three fevers over. She had a fever over a hundred and four. They gave her her last rites three times while she was paralyzed. Wow. And then she had you after that. Right? It's got to fuck up your insides. That's. I mean, I don't think I, think I came out a little scrambled. Her uterus was atrophy. Yeah. It was like I was being born in an old fucking oven. Yeah, I think it was done. The, the, the uterus <laughs> thought it was done. The uterus was like, well, we're not making anything in here. And then Gary Soder was like, how about some rum-soaked jizz? <laughs> <laughs> like just shooting a hot buff batch in your mom? <laughs> Oh, uh, I like, gotta wonder what song was playing when your mom's knees were pinned behind her ear. When T the D was getting knees I'm behind the ears. I'm imagining there was a uh, half-empty bottle of Bacardi on the nightstand and pencil-thin mustache oh. from Buffett was just playing as, as my dad just took long Swedish pounds into her. I picture that my uh, in the li <laughs> I picture that when my mom got pregnant with me, yeah. my dad was uh, I think one leg was out on the bed, okay. other one was up in the air. Yeah. He was side splitting her while two of his Navy buddies beat off in a corner. You think there was men in the room? I think there was a possibility your men were in the room. And now, by the way, I'm I'm basing it off of nothing other than my dad's uh, was a young piece of shit probably would have done that. Isn't it weird to I think gotta, of where... I got to put up, actually. My cut, uh, dude, this is going to make you so happy. How you've been conceived, I can't believe I haven't though. brought this up. But how you've been conceived is a really odd thing to think of if you just think of the exact moment that your parents... Like when Lou's pop dropped two shots in his mom and got Lou and Stu... Oh, yeah, absolutely. What do you think was going on? Do you think he would? He did like a... Bra, bra. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Jacob's dad took a bite of cheese and went, that'll be enough. What year What year were you born, Lou? Uh, 74. 74. So here's what, we do. here's what we break it down. We got to break down everybody and see how they were made. Well, let's, let's take a look. So 74, Nixon's in office. Watergate's popping off. So I imagine uh, Lou's pop is watching the news, furrowed brows, cigarette indoors. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lou's mom brings him his dinner, and he goes, I want to give you a son. Nay, two sons. <laughs> I'm blasting two up in you. Yeah, they call me the automatic shotgun, <laughs> and you're going to name him Lou and Stu. <laughs> I'm out. <Yeah. laughs> they just left. There's a neighbor. pops around, Lou? Uh, no, he's passed away. Okay. Oh, Dead Dad God. Club. What's I'm up? Dead Dad Club. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Father's Day means nothing. How old were you? Nothing means How old were you when he died? Uh, like eight years ago. So oh, okay. 30. Oh, you're, you're fine. Right. Yeah, you got past it. Oh, you're fine. You're not locking up listening to any DMB or Dave yeah. Matthews. Or you got to lose a parent young to get my respect. Oh, yeah. I, I'm 14 and personally too old. 14. Could have yeah. lost him at 10. Would have been the same. was 15? Mm -hmm. Off yeah, the rails, though. Teenage Parents Dead Club. Off the rails. Yeah, but Christine had the the opposite happen. Uh, her drunk is the one that lived forever. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a sad twist of fate. <laughs> yeah, that would have been like if, if T the D would have gone. I would have been stuck with Gary in Lakeport. Dude, yeah. that, a year life, though, with Gary would have just been fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, because we'd be bank robbers. We'd be, I guarantee that piece of shit would have had me robbing, knocking banks with him. But you'd also know how to fish for some reason, like big game fish. I don't think I would, though. I just paint his story maybe different than he was. Oh, yeah, you absolutely do. It's the same reason why everyone, that he's means my dad likes him more than me. He's about, I bet your dad's the kind of guy. I'm like, no, he's not the kind of guy at all. <laughs> In fact, maybe he is. I don't know. He did that with his other sons, probably. Yeah. Dude, meeting other Jay, meeting Jay with the dad, a.k.a. your brother, yeah. it was very interesting. Very there's, interesting. There's a call, the collar on the shirt. Oh, yeah, tucked in. Tucked in. Um, I find it very interesting. Like, my dad, his disappointment, though, like, his disappointment when I wasn't able or willing or wanting to do any of the things that he's into in the limited time he'd spend with me. Yeah. The disappointment on his face was so overwhelming. Like, the idea with him that when, if he took me fishing 
and we caught even these small little dumb shitty fish, I didn't want to take it off the hook. Yeah. I don't want to touch a yucky, slick, <laughs> gross fish. It's yucky, and it's flopping around. It doesn't want to be touched. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> touch the damn fish, Jason! I don't want... Someone asked me to scoop out a dead fish with the net out of their aquarium once, and I was like, why? No. Like, I don't want to feel the heft of that fish in my you, fucking hands. You, you don't like the weight of death, the way that Murkface Andy gets hard to it? Uh, yeah. I'm the opposite of Murkface. <laughs> oh, apologies. I mean, hayseed. But I am just way, like the way, hayseed. The way, the, way, the way a new spring rain touches a crop. Oh, no. The hayseed gets hayseed all jacked to get on the tra tractor trailer. Oh, yeah. Hayseed kills his Thanksgiving turkey with his mouth. Yeah. He just bites its head off. No way. Hayseed's Thanksgiving dinner is uh, six paps and a fucking uh, rewarmed up Kraft macaroni and cheese. Hayseed! How you doing, Hayseed? Can we combine no. Hayseed and Murkface? No. Murkface Hayseed? Murkface Murkseed? Murkseed? No. Dude. Well, here's the deal. Tomorrow that, sounds, that sounds like uh, like a name from the 300, though. Like uh, Merkseed. Hey, yeah. Hey, Merkseed. Talk to Xerxes. About <laughs> yeah. Mer 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 Merkseed. Uh, well, here's the deal. Tomorrow is the live show, July 19th, at the Village Underground, Shaving Jacob. It's a whole new year of the bonfire. Some changes are going to be made. Some changes are being made. And we, one of we, them? We've discussed production changes. We've discussed... First off, there's going to be a brand new Jacob. He's going to be hairless, which makes him a lot more... Uh, and this is going to be... Is a, this is a spoiler alert retroactively, because people are going to know this because of our live show we're doing later. later. Today, which is actually last Wednesday. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is... A, I like throwing people off with the time warp there. It's like Terminator. Well, you're going to... What, what people are going to know... I, I can't tell you now, because I want to tell you in the next show live. Oh, I'm so excited. But someone else in the show's name is about to get changed, probably, too. Say word. Word. Oh, God, what a teaser from last week. Um, but let's go through the uh, things. We have a topic we're going to bring up today anyway that kind of goes with, like, you know, couples and falling apart and things like that. So, Lou, you say indoor smoking. But what was the I want to get the basic facts. What was the song playing? What was the position? How did they end up fucking? Okay, here's what I think for Lou. For DJ Lou Witzke, it was uh, the drink of choice. Mm-hmm were screwdrivers. Okay, okay. A lit a lit Marlboro light in an ashtray mm -hmm. as the banging was going on. I imagine earth tone sheets. Okay. Brown, maybe a forest green. Uh and then I wanna say the song was Mince uh Manfredi Ben Blinded by the Light. Manfred Mann. Manfred Mann. Ooh, Blinded by the Light. Yeah. That's a good one. As Wrapped up like a deuce into the runner in the night. Yeah, and there was... And that I, was it. Batch. But I think the position was Mrs. Witzke, legs wrapped around Mr. Witzke. That's why he got two in. He's on top, but it's intense. But it's intense. La legs wrapped around... Full guard. Full. She's koala bearing him. Okay, okay. And then he got off, too. Lou, how close are we? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the... Uh um, you want to know the song they were banging to in 1973, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a list of all that. Uh, the Billboard uh, top song, oh. Nine Months Before I Was Born. <gasps> Perfect. That's what we have to do. That's the guess, but then the, then we actually find out. Is that it? Bad, bad Le Leroy, Leroy Brown? Brown? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. That's so what your mom was taking it to? She's like, mm, I wish Leroy was here. And then hence his girlfriend in the future. Oh, she's koala bear and your dad? <laughs> That's fucking great. All Jacob, right. Jacob, what year? 70. 70? He didn't want to tell us. He didn't want He's to tell so us. He's so modest. He is so modest. Um, 1970. Okay, so... It's a different decade. It's a different decade, but it's coming. It's, it's brand new out of the decade. Brand new out of the decade. LBJ is in office. Correct. Uh, Yes, I think so. The Beatles are huge. Are, are, are huge. Still it's still a band, and also coming out of the "We All Wear Suits" thing, and now, getting into the, now they're getting hippie-ish. They've been hippie-ish for a little bit. What are your guesses? Drink first. What's the drink on the table? So, uh, I think the dad. Mr. I think mom. I think mom was having a cosmopolitan. Dad was drinking a whey protein shake. You think mama? You think Papa Jacob was drinking a whey protein? A shake? whey protein shake. Yes, absolutely. And mom was having a nice martini? My, yes, indeed. Something classy. This, though, however, was an aggressive couch fuck. You think that this was side action couch fuck? Um, no, I think she's she's up on top. Riding! She wanted a little Jacob. She, she wanted, wanted it to happen. So she's just jumping down, trying to get it in her. Papa Jacob's worried about his, uh, his virility. He's drinking that whey protein shake. He's He's thinking they should have used a condom. 
Yes. Uh, the responsibility that we see from Jeffrey. Mom desperately trying to trap a man. Now, the song that's playing, we have this in here? Yeah. What, is it right there? Yeah. Or any of these songs? It's, it's this one, actually. We have the song. I was going to say you got to guess. Oh, guess. Oh, what would I say the song would be? Yeah, what would it be? Because I guess? really didn't see it yet until we said. Somewhere out um, there? <laughs> Fightful? No. <laughs> that's impossible. That would be back in time. I'm thinking like 1970. What's the music coming out of it? Ooh. Uh, this is the end. The Doors. Oh, a long, a long epic opus. This is the, the, the rains. Oh, I would say this is the end. This is the end. The killer awoke well, before dawn. He put his boots on, <laughs> and she's like, meow, meow. <laughs> and I bet it was a really fucking cushy, velour-like couch. I was gonna say itchy couch. No, I think Mom's knees were getting rug burnt by the couch. Okay. <laughs> Jacob, how accurate are we? Jacob, how close are we? <laughs> Pretty accurate. Nailed, Nailed it. it. <laughs> Merc face. What's the actual song, though? Uh, the theme from Romeo and Juliet. The That's love something. theme from Romeo and Juliet. What is that? I was hoping you were going to say Dire Straits. Hey, there's Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Oh, it's me, it's Julie. It's time. Hey, it's Julie. It's Romeo. <laughs> Julie is a head Romeo. Hey, it's Romeo. You, you gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me to death. I need the window. Hang hey, uh, my boyfriend back. <laughs> We're almost going into a Randy Newman. Oh, it's a very similar thing. Get a beat, uh, me. You think your parents banged it out to fucking chamber music? Yeah. Is that what happened? Have you met Jacob? You think... Dad, Jacob walked in, maybe not whey protein, holding candelabra. And he, no, I bet he sat down and he was like, what are you watching? She's like, Romeo and Juliet, father. <laughs> and he father. Said, Papa. <laughs> oh, take your panties off and ride me while I drink this. That's you, Batat fuck music right there. That is, that's the Batat, if the, if the Batat family crest had fuck music to it. Stories of a family creating more for the Tots. Love, passion, whey protein, <laughs> whey protein, love of cheese. I'm shooting thick, thick fertile batch. Cottage cheese ropes. It's chunk, it's chunky chips. Merc face. What year? Seventy nine. Seventy nine. Joe Montana drafted by the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Things are different. Gary, Trish, living in SF, about to move to Connecticut. Everyone's worried about the imminent eighties and what it's going to bring. Oh, there's the a, yuppies on the rise. There's a blood disease <laughs> ripping through the gay community. Um, there's a young Ronald Reagan about to take office. Former governor of California. A former actor. Former actor. Hollywood doing the takeover. I want to say the beer is Bud Heavy. Bud, just American rip tops. Oh yeah, where the whole thing comes off. Yeah, there's a rip top. In it. Hell yeah. I want to say it's an unfiltered lucky strike in the ear of Mr. Fiore. Yeah, I, I, I I'm guessing that too. I'm guessing Merc Face's dad was like a, a way late in life even greaser. And I want to tell you where it happened. Like dark dungarees, white T-shirt, back of a 1974 truck. Yeah, the cab, Ford, in the cab. Yeah, down by a lake. Mm, yeah, scenic. Something Mo scenic. Moonlight bouncing off the lake. Maybe behind an industrial park? <laughs> Probably. There's definitely an oil derrick nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's an auto. I think it's a Napa Auto Parts uh, like, I, like, like, you know, like storage facility. I mean, you know me. I'm an auto zone guy. But yeah, sure. Why not? Napa. And, uh, n -n -n Napa know how. <laughs> uh, you know, that, year's, that song is 25 years away from being born. Getting uh, Mom Merc Face getting blasted out with just... Dirty f uh, fingernails, and then one fingernail is totally black from uh, uh, when he whacked it with a hammer. Okay, yeah, dead. He got dead nail. He's got a dead nail. And I want to say that her dry ankles are uh, rubbing against the top of the dashboard, so oh, you yeah. can just hear that skin on plastic. That's sawing. That's sawing as as Mr. Fiore, Mr. Merc face, just plowing, just rips away. I want to say these grabbing radio. the window sill and just pulling himself to it. Oh, yeah. He's got a spin knob radio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, he's got and the song, song is Billy Joel, Just the Way You Are. Really? That's my guess. That's a different way I would take that. Just the way you are. 
bodies. Ear, ear, ear. I'm going to make a killer, a stone cold killer See, I, who also loves the hay. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to go farming. But. I, I got a, I got a, a lit cigarette in an a, an actual ashtray on the dashboard. <laughs> That's the crustiest thing Which in is the world. shaking around. Yeah. And the it's song a, I got, yeah. uh, fucking Slow Ride, Fog Hat. Fog Hat? Let's check it. 1979. I thought... <laughs> See, this changes, because to me now, they're just doing fucking yaks, rail to yak. <laughs> and then they're like in the cab, and he's like, no, I'm telling you. It's impossible. It's impossible for you to get pregnant. <laughs> if I come inside of you, then I pour a soda in your pussy. I'm just telling you right now. I know that. I'm telling you that right now. I know that. That's pure science. It's pure science. Well, I was at Frankie Valley. Was, his career was over, but this is really point bouncing back into the mainstream. Dude, I'm telling you right now. We do anything. I won't tell my girlfriend. I won't tell my girlfriend. So why don't you just like start playing with it? Just see if you can make it hard. Are like, you gonna tell girl. her? I mean, if you're, are you gonna tell her? Then she doesn't know. Dude, I'm not gonna marry her. She's not gonna be Mrs. Fiore. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, just pulling out my pants real quick. <laughs> How close are we, Mark Face? Can you just look at it and just let me know if it's like it's normal for my age or whatever? Big. How close are we? So far off. Because you guys remember my dad's older. He was he was in fifty. He was fifty five when he had me. Oh, and my oh, mom shit. was thirty three. I saw twenty two years apart. That's I right. saw her from a distance. Yeah, a young girl. I knew I had to have her. So let's all redress the entire situation. Yeah. I, I believe it's the library in the very old mansion. Some, tweed, a tweed blazer's involved, for yes. sure. And if you don't know, it's the uh, the Furies, or a uh, very well-to-do town of Manhattan, Kansas. <laughs> Some of the top farmers in the region. Luke, you look up the Fiori crest for me? Well, now it's been changed to two AR-15s crossed <laughs> over a skull. <laughs> Born to kill in a pack of fucking Marlboro <laughs> Reds. Yeah. But Mr. Fiori said, who is that young girl? Oh, why... She's just the milkman's daughter. <laughs> Have her come by. I'd like to talk to her. They met with a traveling salesman story. Do you like my... Put your dick in the holes. Do you like my salon? Lay down on my resting couch. All right, there's the Fiori crest. It's very flamboyant. <laughs> it's That's like, really your crest? Yeah, he comes from a family of gay knights, yeah. apparently. <laughs> Honey, this joust right. is about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run at you, you run at me. It's called a Fiori joust. Where's my turkey leg, bitch? <laughs> I want a big old glass of mead. <laughs> that way I can just, you can just plow me on this that silk pillow. Right. <laughs> what is... Is that your family no, crest? No, we're it, Italian and Irish. All right. That was so, like Swedish. You come from a long line of Mummers Parade. Uh, <laughs> Wait, can we do all of them before we go to break? Let's go through real quick to see all of our family crests. Okay. First off, DJ Lewitsky. I want to see the Lewitsky family crest. Please be crusty. I want. I, it's just a picture of Eddie Vedder. I'm like, all right, someone did some, someone did some internet editing. You wrote your own thing. That's you. Uh. Eh. <laughs> it's all tiny. It's tiny. No respect. No respect to the Witskys. All right. That's the Fiori. That's the Fiori crest. We're going to see the Whiskey. This is going to be great. Yeah, by the way, at what the bonfire. fucking two turntables and a fucking <laughs> and a four finger ring that says fresh. And a 360 systems instant replay <laughs> under it. Or if it's just two family crests that look exactly the same. <laughs> this is twin crests. Twin crests. There's the so many twins story. in this family. Uh, also, but by the way. You have the Whiskey crest, uh, Lou. For some reason, you have like. Look like manuals. Uh, 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 by the way, the Whitsky Crest seems like it's some sort of test they take for brain doctors. <laughs> oh, you need to take the Whitsky Crest before we can license you to operate on people. <laughs> At the bonfire, SXM, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat to the, see all these pictures. This is not a lie. The Whitsky Crest, if you Google that, also shows you uh, CAT scan pictures of brain problems. So, <laughs> that's a real thing. Brain, brain trauma videos. Look at that. Brain network activity and monolingual people. That's what it is. The monolinguals. That's your crest. There's no Whitsky fat. Well, what was it changed from, Lou, when God-fearing Americans uh, changed your family's name at Ellis Island? I was at Ellis Island, and I think it was originally Witzig. It is a German name. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. This could get Maybe real. if I take that eye uh, off. Maybe you should announce that when you have a shaved head. Yeah. <laughs> And when you always give a thumbs down when I say Jewish, Vitzik. that's always awkward. Oh, there we go. There's the family crew. Whoa! What drawn by that? a third grader. Yeah, that cool art project. That What's really that? Is. a 
Polish flag and shitty artwork. That looks like the pre... Yeah. Well, Lou, you come from a long line of... By this drawing, I'm guessing... Uh, was that... What is that, Sweden's? What is that flag is that? That's Norway? No, that's Denmark. Denmark. I think it's Denmark, yeah. Denmark, mountains, and apparently your family's really into wheat. <laughs> Good old crops. That should be Hasey Dandies. That really should. But Andy's instead is a fucking uh, uh, Liberace knight. All right, so that's the lose crest. Let's check out the batat. Don't even bother. Two T's, four A's. Did I do that right? Yeah. Don't even bother. Why, Why are you now, so now mad? Just, we don't have one. Oh, Dude. my God. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> the Batak Crest is just different plastic figurines of dinosaurs. That's not even sort of a lie. <laughs> don't, we're not even, don't even post this. Don't even post this on social media, Christine. Just if you go... Look up the B-A-T-T-A-T -B -A -T -T -A -T Crest. The Batak Crest is just... I can't look uh, see, up. Go down, Lou. Oh, that's it's just so, pages it's upon pages <laughs> of, of toy dinosaurs. It's just toy dinosaurs. There's only one page. There's only one page, it's I think. Only, it's only toy Oh, no. There's a crest. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a crest. It's a, oh, adventure, adventure awaits. <laughs> what? So the, the the best thing you can come up with if you Google the Batak Crest is finally pages down through toy dinosaurs. <laughs> Eventually you get to a crest that is four sections. Yeah. Uh, the first one seems to have a hotel room number that says two twenty. Those are Harry Potter glasses. Oh. Yeah, two twenty. No, it says two twenty one B, and it looks like a doorbell of some sort. On the upper right. Yeah, it's Harry, Harry Potter, Potter glasses and Harry Potter's like the the lightning bolt. So apparently, your family huge fans of Harry Potter. The lower left is a scepter with a stone in it. Dude, let's just go back to the plastic dinosaurs. And the right just... and the right bottom is a picture of a ring, and then across the middle is a banner that says "Adventure Awaits." <laughs> Well, I'm just going to say that his family crushes plastic dinosaur toys. Uh, it's <laughs> Go back to the plastic dinosaur toys. There's pages of them, Soder. Couldn't be prouder. Let's, uh, what That's about, let's try, fantastic. let's see the Okerson family crust. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll do the Soder. Oh, then we do look at the Evans. It's so boring. Actually, Christine, don't look up the Evans. Look up what your mom's crazy last Armenian name was. How do you spell that nonsense? <laughs> T S T N K I S F N A K N A S F N A K N A S Schkalj Maljmanian. What's the family's last name again? Varnabedian. That's I mean completely made up. <laughs> yeah, I said it sounds like a world of a. Uh, how do you spell it? B A R T A B E D I A N. This definitely is going to have a crest. It's going to be evil. I think we should bring our guest in right now, because I want to find out what his family crest is. Absolutely. I have no problem with that. Sitting in with us today on the New But Not Live show, one of our friends, uh, a colleague, a lover, a uh, fellow comedian. One of my Gino. favorite people in the Gino world. Gino Bisconti. Hey, Boo. Hey, hey guys. Yo, what's dog. up, dude? We're hanging out again. Yeah. Again, um, the Bisconti family again. crest, I just imagine it's uh, odds for a sports game. <laughs> it's a guy yeah. on a tractor driving to a casino. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, or it's just a guy losing at a sports book. Huh? What are you going to do? I, I thought the Chargers were going to cover. I think it's a, a score of like a D3 fucking lacrosse game. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what made the family money one day. Yeah. St. John Bosco Prep is fucking me on this. <laughs> um, did we find Christine's? This it doesn't it. exist. It's just like uh, just an old man. Yeah, it's an angry old man. Oh, that's boring. But why? We don't have family crests anymore. No one. Oh, wears the Evans. Anymore. If we just go with our actual last name, the Evans one is pretty. Yeah, look. It looks like the. It looks like the family that fights. Uh, Andy's Mark but Face Andy's thing. Your boy Witsky had a great point. It's like the names changed. Like when they were crests, it was before America. So like all yeah. the names that got fucked up look when we came over here. Yeah. Look how sick he has more badass than Andy's night yeah. though. Oh, dude. I'd take that over at Fiori. You'd get killed by that thing. Yeah, Fiori. They, Fiori's they, got somebody out of, like, uh, what was it, the uh, Monty Python movie. This crest is going to joust your crest right in the asshole. I feel like um, I feel like Fiori's crest is like the king that doesn't want to fight, but he hires other people. He's like, <laughs> I don't trust. If you have to get to my kingdom, you must fight my greatest knight. I hate Prince Fiori. Bring I 
don't like you. <laughs> Bring your dancer. I want to see a dancer. I want to watch. I want to watch one of the clowns dance for me. <laughs> Father says I can learn how to ride a horse if I'm a good. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, Prince, Prince Fiore. Oh, I know. I eat all the mutton I want, and no one can tell me I don't want to do it. Another, please. Another helping. I want. Please help me ride my steed. Oh, poor boy. You'll never be a knight. I'll fight the Evans knight right now. <laughs> the Evans uh, knight is great. Badass. Let's see the Okerson crest. Pull that shit up. It'd be awesome if it's fingerless gloves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of a kid waiting for his dad to pick him up. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's accurate. <laughs> um, Dude, it's black me. guy holding a pizza. It's Chris Rock holding a pizza. Type in the word family crest is always the best way to do it. And it's also the bonfire popped up, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. It's part of my crest. Yeah. I mean, Ari, the that's seller, weird. Chris Hardwick. Oh, there it is. What about up there? No. Um, no, maybe. No, that's just O's. Oh, it's like that? a sorry board game. What's that red one, though, to the right? Is that you? Is that Okerson, Doc? Um, no, down? Like, see where it says, yeah, like, right in that, that dark, right there. You think that's what it is? I don't know. No, it's like a mix something. No, go up. Go up to the one top. It's pretty simple, right there. Yeah, just we have it. the way you are. That's not it, actually. There's no way that's it. I don't like the Evans knife. I don't have one, huh? I don't like the Evans. Let's check out the soda. God, oh, please just be a bottle of Bacardi and corduroy shorts. <laughs> I hope so, so much. It's just a guy standing there with no shoes on. Yeah. Long shorts. Whoa, really? That's Let's intense. See. Another? No, it's not. That's Sanderson. Sanderson. I wish it was Sanderson. That's a badass. Soda person. right there. It's nothing. <laughs> oh, it's actually dude, a blank screen. It says the ancient arms of nothing in the middle. Soda. <laughs> that is so perfect. <laughs> you know, it's like it's so like much. not finished yet. Oh wait, wait. Is something coming up on it? Now it's a checkerboardy thing. Okay, come on, show no, me. No, that's that's how you superimpose shit over it. Like you could put your face in there. Oh, so that was it. So that's hilarious. Of, wait, no, there it is. That's badass. Man, that's Ooh. pretty good. That's fucking awesome. Really? Let's see it. Another night, another profile. Oh man, that looks fucking Nazi-ish. <laughs> it does. You got the screaming eagle. There is no room for big heads in our family. We will move them to the new land. You know what I just found out, by the way? What? Because uh, Christine just blew the whole lid off this thing. Um, if this is correct, um, you know it's a little different. What? It's a little different. It's a little the same. My eagles' uh, wings are down, and you're yours double are headed. Um, you have two headed. I'm a double headed eagle. Do we have badass crests? We have, and they're are they? But the 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 same leaf knight? work is oddly similar, and the knight's the same. I mean, I don't know. If... Except I, for some reason, have a chicken on the top of my head where you have flaming hearts flying out of it. Because I love, I'm a lover. And I'm a chicken. <laughs> you know what's even crazier about this? Eagles colors, Niners colors. That's so randomly weird. Cool. We're going to put them up at the bonfire, SXM. Biscontos, what do you think yours looks that? like? Hopefully mine's Charger colors. I yeah, don't know. Bisconti. Let's try Bisconti. B is in Baker. I S if you're Googling at home, kids. Bisconti. It sounds like a lovely cookie. <laughs> Again, follow at the, uh, bo at the bonfire, SXM on Twitter. You could uh, follow along with all this. Christine's putting it up there. It's actually spelled with the knee at the end, but I bet. Uh, what am I, a dead snake? That's oh, fucking oh, shit. That's What's wrong anyway. It's Bisconte. Bisconte. But that's actually. She spelled it right. That's why it was spelled in, in Italy. Well, oh, family what's, came with the eye? Yeah. So yeah. maybe that is it. Well, I mean, he's not going to look it up now if you're going to keep calling Louis She. <laughs> yeah, he's a man. I thought Christine did it. I'm sorry. No, he's a man. I'm sorry, Sir Vitsky. It changed nothing, by the way. Obviously, you're. Chris Rock's back could, with the pizza. It could just be a giant chicken, or <laughs> it could be information about the career of Chuck Nice. I am a giant chicken. <laughs> Wait, what's this one? What's Click that? that one right there, Lou, that you're on. Is it a black person being eaten by a dragon? That's, that's it. <laughs> that has to that be That was it. my family Visconti. name. They, they yeah. say Bisconti comes from Italy, and it was Viscount, meaning twice the count, and it got morphed into Bisconti. Well, dude, that, that is your Visconti. Is your <laughs> and family the Chargers colors. Powder blue? It really no is. Less. Look at that. It is the Chargers colors with the gold and the blue. And he's he's and eating he's, a man's he's, member. He's eating a black person. <laughs> he's eating a, well, we like to call them mulattoes. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. He's not that dark. It's true. We're not. This isn't a Wesley Snipes we, black. We don't feel like we're going to get 
scene of true romance where he's like, I'm a history buff. I'll take that Winchester now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you familiar with this? That would be mine, though. Uh, I want, dude, I, I gotta find that link. That's we gotta get t shirts with all these made. These are badass. They really, they, these would be great t shirts. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I adore it. Uh, uh, it yeah, looks like, but, and the snake but, looks like intestines. That is part of it. But yeah, that is the Visconti uh, dude, that arms. Is, that's the Visconti arms. That's right, dude. Thank Except you. I don't want to break your heart in this one. Yeah. You're eating a white guy. Uh, <laughs> that's disappointing. Because yeah. I am not white. Well, it shows your equal opportunity. Look, someone yeah. carved it in stone. Look, somebody carved that in stone. Dude, see if Where you is buy that? that? Go to the one over there. It's uh, five over, Lou. Yeah, right up up front, up top, next to the one where it's him on Anthony next, show. Next to the yeah, it's in the stone, right there in the stone. The one yeah, no, no stone. two right no. over stone. L Lou never it's in stone. Mike Machetti, must we do that? Next to Chuck Nice, so obvious. It's the one it's that's the, you're going yes, the to. one that's in there. You go. Oh, dude, you got to get look, that. And look, look, look. What's it? It's a biscine or something. Look at the word. Yeah, you got to get that. Depiction of the Bisconi. Dude, why Swallowing is it? a child. Done that. Needed the work. <laughs> uh, Are you a circus snake? <laughs> Dude, I want you to have that on I your house. To, in so my bad. younger days, I need pills to help me now, but yeah. what? That's weird. I, I like it, though. That should That's, be... I, do I win? Was there a prize? Because... I hate to say this, I fucking win. I think you win. Daddy wins. I'll on tell that you one. who loses. Prince Fiore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any of your crests. Yeah, go back. Go you back one more time to Fiore's I hope. Yeah. flamboyant <laughs> night. So it's like I change. I'll change. <laughs> We gotta take a break. This is too much damn fun. All right, we'll take a break then. God, he's, I want to go to that castle. Should we? There's what? A, there's so many other cooler ones. For what? Went to the first one. He just went to the first one. <laughs> oh, there it is. You know what? His is Look down there. One. His is the green with the red antler thing in it. Where? It says like dog. Oh, no, it's no, like dirty. 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 Fourth from the right, left. Oh, the with all the colors, the red, yellow. Yeah, that one's cool. What? It's more frills than your coat of arm office supplies. <laughs> yeah, that's us. They come from a long line of WB Masonites. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and some Office Depot. <laughs> you go to that Together one. The go to the yeah, the, that one there. Click that one. Oh, that's the money one. A unity that's of there. WB yeah. Mason and Office Depot <laughs> shall bring us the Furies. No, hey, Murphy, look, look at the me. helmet on this thing. It's the most flamboyant knights, every one of them. I'm oh. coming. I want the world to know. You come from a tribe of slap fighters. Yeah. I'm, I challenge you to a duel. I'm guarding castle. Yeah. yeah. There you You're go. Dragons. I don't know why it's no more flowery. Yours is so flowery, though. They yeah. had six of those at the gay pride parade last week. Yeah. Oh. Is that what it means when people are saying I got fioried in a Starbucks bathroom? Yeah. Oh. Guys, don't go to jail. You're going to get fioried. <laughs> well, my biggest worry is about getting fioried, especially by some black fellas. <laughs> I, from here on out, sex in the back will be called fioried. Prince Fiori, why don't you take us to the break? We're going to go right back, but don't leave, or else my father will kill you. I'm a prince. <laughs> This is Rob Corddry, and you're listening to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Playing in the background as Gary Okerson, balls constricting with every fill up and blast off of semen deep, deep into my mother, uh, swimming through canals and channels. Punching its way, punching its way through eggs, going in there, swirling up, making the batch, give me a little him, a little bit of her, nine months of gestation, and then nine months later, a seven pound, eleven ounce baby boy, named Big J Ogerson, legal name. <laughs> The only handprint that's got space for knuckle gloves. Uh, the baby handprint. Yeah, it's got a little bit of extra on it. Thank you light my life, Debbie Boone. Number one song. It's the Bonfire. Big Jokers and Dan Soder hanging out with us. Gino Bisconti, Gino. Uh, who has an awesome podcast called In Hot Water. In Hot uh, Water. On the Compound Media Just Network. Just picking up the baton you handed to me, skank boy. No, we were on Anthony Cumia Network, but now society has decided that shouldn't be a thing. Mm. So now it's called Compound Media. Oh, okay. Yeah, why did... Oh, just because of the name? They no, I don't know. I'm sure it was more of like a business decision. I don't think that was anything. Uh, it's just funny. Wonder, it's a funny joke to make. I wonder what Debbie Boone's up to. <laughs> now? You want to see if she was hot when she was young? Yes. 
Let's check it out. I absolutely want to do. I'm sitting Wasn't over here she doing some baby. infomercial recently? You! It's possible. Somebody was. Like, I can't think of, of any other Debbie Boone songs other than You Light Up My Life. But uh, by the way, in the year I was born, we just looked at that. That song was number one for a while. Yeah, be. man. There was a lot of babies made that year. Yeah, no shit. Let's see what Debbie she's Debbie Boone! Doing. She's looking good! Well, that's, that's not her now. Dude. Or maybe it is. She looks fucking great. Wow, she looks Debbie. better. She looks great. She looks like Eric Stoltz and Mask back in the 70s. <laughs> oh, yeah. When she was young, she was holy. Yikes. Look at that shit. She was the girl that would... She was like the girl that played like... They wouldn't put fat girls in movies, so they just like they just make a less attractive girl like the... I want to go home. Can we just go home already? Yeah, Debbie Boone's killing it now. But look at that with the little sleeveless number right there. I get it. She looks great. Good for you, Debbie Boone. You light up our lives. I'm telling you, she's doing some infomercial, I think, now. About looking great? Uh, I don't know. Probably. She right. probably had plastic surgery and then... Don't say drugs. that. You don't know that. Isn't that what you do? And then you're like, hey, I took this pill and I look like this. Yeah. Debbie Boone doesn't do that. She's an honest woman. After I took the duct tape off my face from Dr. Gino, so, look at me in the face. Yes, Debbie Boone would never do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I will punch you I'm in your sorry, royal crest. I don't care if you eat children. <laughs> I do. I don't care if it's your family's history to eat I children. I throw in the powder blue snake outfit and I eat children. <laughs> We're going to come back uh, from every commercial break with the song. All three from, of us. Uh, yeah, with the, three, uh, the song that was number one when we came out. Gino was born in uh, 1947. Here we go. Here, Here, we, go. Song, yeah. Here we go. Here was the war. <laughs> Gino, was, Gino, was, Gino was conceived to Orson Welles reading War of the Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'd say. It's one of those radios that when I, all, all the music comes through, is just like... <laughs> and also don't forget that uh, tomorrow you can listen to a new episode of The Shadow. <laughs> That's going to happen. With the nice long gal. <laughs> Holding hands with a nice young lady Going to a soda shop Listen here, I'm sick of not having a son I'm going to give you one right now <laughs> Practically oh. born in the 70s one, Practically One thrust, two thrust <laughs> This snake's about to eat a white girl tonight <laughs> And then he opened his chest, he opened up his shirt, and he has the <laughs> the Visconti crest on his chest He has it burned on, seared on <laughs> Like a late 90s gang member, it's mm -hmm. burned onto his chest. It's with me always, you see. Yeah. <laughs> now did we have ever, to get married. Did you ever do that when you were in high school? Like, people branding themselves? That was big in my high school for, or my, like... I remember, I remember like black kids not being able to wait until they can go to college and brand themselves. Yeah, well, that's why, like, a lot of, like, a lot of kids, went, some kids went to high school. It was like that in my neighborhood. I remember white people, they couldn't wait till black people went to college. <laughs> it was weird. South that, Jersey. That's a very rate. South yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Different way of living. Yeah. How close did you when guys live? When we threw out that phrase with the uh, please, we weren't saying it nicely. Yeah. Did you guys, How close did you guys live in South Jersey? Not far. In six degrees separation, Gino is actually uh, the older cousin to my uh, phys ed teacher. <laughs> I was trying to think oh, of that. So but in Jersey, you say cousin. Yeah. A cousin. Cousin. Yeah. Yeah, it's my cousin. I thought you were Delaware guy. I'm born and raised, I'm like a locust. Like, I go from one city to the next. Like, I was born and raised in Vineland on a farm. Okay. Sounds about a Seven, farm. 17. Went You're to 20 minutes from Philly. And went to, right. Went to school at University of Delaware, 20 minutes from Philly, 17. I was there. Then I graduated and lived in Wilmington for 10 years. Then I lived in Philly for three, and then I moved up here. You graduated college? Yeah. I'm very learnt. And now you live in Harlem? East Harlem. <laughs> what a waste of a college education. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'll I tell would, you this, though. Wouldn't change a thing. Where'd you go to college, though? Where'd you go to college for? Business or something. Business. Business marketing management. What a vague thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, see, I, I, commerce. I feel like you guys both have the same thing. That, uh, see, Joe DeRose always gets in my ass about this. I, I went to college at a community college for like a week. Yeah. You or, and Nate. Or a month or you so. You and Nate are like... A <laughs> month or so. And I really don't have... But... but Joe DeRose would always tell me, he's like, oh, dude, if I can go back there a million times, I would. Because I look at it as, yeah, great parties and whatever. I go, but you had to go to class and write paper. I was so happy to be done school. And he's like, man, you had nothing to do with school. I go, but you still got to go to school at some point. Let me tell you why I like, no, let me tell you something, Jay. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you why I liked. I hated the social life at the University of Arizona. I was, I was a random... Wildcat? Yeah, I didn't know that. I was a raging alcoholic. No. But I didn't... I never got laid because they were all like hot San Diego girls. Who were you like, did get laid, though. I got laid because of class. Because I was able to be funny in class. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I and mean, girls were like, "Oh, you're funny," and then they would make it. It would up my value. Radio? College radio? No, no, no. I did real radio when I was in. Uh, I, I worked at KFMA, which was a station in Tucson. And so that got me. Anything? That got me laid. Yeah. That's what. But I didn't get laid in my freshman year. Halfway through my sophomore year, I didn't get laid. And then at when, all, at all, nothing. You had a year and a half drought. Drought. Dry. I went back to Denver and got laid in the summer before I moved to Alaska. Didn't get you laid. You didn't get laid in Alaska? I tried. This one girl disappeared, though. It's kind of weird. I talked about it on Ari's podcast. <laughs> that I don't happens. Know what she disappeared. What do you mean? She hurt her wrist, and then they, like, I don't know if they turned her into glue, like a broken horse. <laughs> but she disappeared and never came back. Really? Yeah. Just vanished. Yeah, and, I, and she was giving me fuck eyes. So I thought, like... And then my well, by the way, those Eskimos are always sort of swimming. <laughs> well, most of them have fucked eyes. Fuck eyes. Is, it, I like if there's the, a big difference. I love that Jay called them an Eskimo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it reminds me sorry, of the they're natives. But it reminds me of the cartoon that Bruce Willis is watching in Pulp Fiction, where it's just a lips. <laughs> it's like, oh no, that's you Bugs can't Bunny over there. That's, that's Bugs Bunny. No, what are they called? They're called Inuits. Inuits. Or are they Which called? Is, that sounds more racist to in, me. Yeah, a bunch of Inuits. <laughs> um, but they, they, I didn't get laid, and then radio. But, but I got laid because of class, because I was funny in class with this girl, and then she, I started a house party. She so was you like, got hey, laid once you went to a house party? Yeah, house parties were kind of fun at the University of Arizona. But is it me, or did he make it sound like he got laid because of class? So we would go to class, and he was so funny. It was just a steady stream of women saying, I want to fuck the guy from the Bio guy from 102. Class, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a class because I liked a girl. I stayed in a class called Love and Eroticism in the Middle Ages. <laughs> And you had to read, we read the... the About Prince Fiori, probably. Yes. <laughs> I remember when I fell in love with my first princess. I had her killed because she didn't want me. <laughs> <laughs> I always said, my, my greatest gift to this world is the fact that I can grow facial hair. I hope I pass it on. One day, my descendants will be friends with cable guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's twirling his hair right now like a fancy prince. <laughs> I'm bored and hungry. I'm hungry. Give me another leg of mutton. <laughs> Is that how you measure mutton and legs? Yeah. We don't even know. Do they even want, have legs? I want grapes. <laughs> Give me that peasant boy's grapes. <laughs> yeah. I want to eat them in front of him. Uh, we have other grapes, sir. I want his. No, give me his. I want his poor dirty fingerprints on them as I enjoy them as they burst into little <laughs> balloons of taste into my mouth. <laughs> Shit. I'm ready to lay down on my very, very padded bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I uh, I didn't get laid a lot in Arizona. Like, the guys that got laid in Arizona were like, the guys were like, what's up? My name's Turfer. I play wax on the club team. I smash puss, and I do uh, half a bar of Zanny before I drink vodka sodas. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, there was this guy I went to college with. His name was Sean. And he'd always like, uh, one time I was smoking weed with him, trying to be a human being. And I was like, we we're at this guy's house party. And I was like, oh, that's cool, man. So you're from La Jolla? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty awesome. And he goes, yeah, that's awesome. Every year my dad buys me a new Range Rover. And I was like, I'm just going to walk away from this. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude. Like tools like that. I never understood bragging about having things handed to you. It seems like a weird thing. It seems like you'd want to hide that more than anything else. Dude, what's weird about that shit with those, they don't really fucking, that doesn't bug, I think, wealthy kids. But I think some of them are acting like, I don't even care. That's like, what that, it that's, is. It's like, I don't even, it gives me one every year. I don't care. I'm too cool. But Whatever. I drive it. Oh, you think Range Rovers are cool? I'm yeah. like, I drive a 1996 Dodge Stratus <laughs> that is on its last limbs. I drove a it's 1980 Toyota Super truck, pickup oh, truck. Jay and I had yeah. the first same cars, 1986 Honda Accord hatchback. Damn. Get some. Um, metal silver. Oh, uh, mine was metal blue, but yeah, still it's, 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 yeah, it's a blue or silver. Do the that exact car. same car. I had to scrape the pussy off that thing. Am you know I right? You know what else? Kurt the Messer, I tried to. I fucked a girl my size on the hood of it, and, <laughs> and it was to, it was making terrible <laughs> fucking it, metal. It was crying. Noises. Wait, did you yeah. have the flip lights? Did the lights flip up? Yeah. Did you know who else had our car? Garrett Pay. Garrett Pay had it too. <laughs> yeah. I think you're gonna say Michael Knight. No, I wish. But dude, I remember when I pulled up, my mom got it. My mom was banging this mechanic named Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think he was banging my friend Joel's mom, too. And your mom was 50 at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but his mom's... mother, like, was paralyzed for 10 years, so she has the legs of, like, someone 10 years younger. It's, exactly. like, it's, it's like when Jamal Gina. Lewis went to jail, he rested for three years, <laughs> yeah. came back ready to run up and down the field. Gino gets it. Yeah. My mom, my mom like lost... fucking a 58-year-old. Two times a I'll week, show you a video. Has, two times a week, she has soda to come in and pour lemon juice on her puss so it stayed tight <laughs> for, through the thing. Dan, I'm like, Mom, I can't do that. Mom, I will feed you, and I will... <laughs> Does that soda thing work, by the way? I'll just great. pour soda That'd in your pussy. Great. I need that later. Cause I don't use That'd be great if she goes, uh, she's like, she goes, no, 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 Danny, pull it on there. Just listen, just listen. <laughs> that's dark. That's, how, that's the sound of it. She's like, that's it going back. <laughs> as, as, I, as I pour it on, she goes, can it go back? <laughs> That's all right with me. So my pussy back in time. <laughs> yeah, dude. She got me. Um, you know, like growing up, she never gave me anything. She was always like, from the time I was like twelve, she was always like, if you want something, you have to have a job and earn money. So my car when I was sixteen, she's like, I'll help you out. I'll talk to Buzz. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which, by the way, he had he had a uh, he had an auto body shop in like the worst part of Aurora. Also, the also, worst part. I know from having uncles who were like mechanics and shit. When you get like the mechanics hookup, they're always as an adult now. You almost reflect on why it's a better decision to get that shit car you're about to get because he knows because he yep. did all the work on it that it's going to run fucking great but that was never a car like even your friends would get used shit fucked up like firebirds and shit yeah. and then the next thing you know you're driving you know, I'm you're driving around in a fucking like whatever. so Christine's got a bunch of those great like just shitty like fucking pickup trucks but that pickup I'm talking about because we had a family you know all Italians on farm the Burrells were a family mechanic and they'd always give us a used car, and this one was this 1980 white Toyota, this little pickup truck that my brother drove, well, my dad drove, and then my brother drove it, and then I drove it. It lasted for, like, Jesus Christ, 20 years. Well, see, that was the opposite. I almost think Buzz hated my mom. He, <laughs> yeah. he went and he got... a Fiero. Dude, he Bitch got, has lemon juice in her pussy. It stinks. Oh, I'm trying to fuck that citrus snooze. Uh, <laughs> citrus snooze? My dick ain't got scurvy. So we, uh, we, so we got it. She's like, I, uh, Buzz is going to get you a car at a police auction for the money you have. And I was like, I maybe had like, I think $1,200. So I was like, that's awesome. That's awesome. So then I remember I was at work and she's like, your car's getting here today. And I was like, what the fuck? This is awesome. And I remember turning the corner. Now, what are you thinking it might be? I'm thinking it's a Honda Accord because I knew it was a Honda Accord. So I was like, awesome. It's going to look like a Honda Accord. Dude, my buddy Joel is driving me home. We turn, <laughs> we turn the corner. And Joel, Joel's a great day. Joel goes like this. He goes, oh, Garapay's at your house. And I was like, yeah, I wonder what Garapay's doing here. And then we like, we like do a Yui to pull in front of my house. And I'm like, don't tell me that's the car. Don't tell me that's the car. And then Trish comes out holding the key, and she's like, like jingles it, like, look what I got. And, and Joel goes, she got you Garapay's car? <laughs> and so we get out, and I'm like, did you get me Danny's car? And she's like, no, why does Garapay have this car? I was like, he has the exact same car. Dude, he came over, and he was like, why did you get my car? It was like a thing. Like, everyone at school was like, so Soder, why are you driving Garapay's car? I'm like, it's not Garapay! Oh, yeah. It's mine! <laughs> Did you have to tint your windows or throw a little decal on that bitch to separate your show? Abso absolutely. And then the car just started falling apart. I lost the master brakes. I lost the master cylinder. Almost immediately, the brakes kicked. Really? As we were going to see Blair Witch Project at the, at the <laughs> down, uh, downtown at a movie theater, we are going up to a stoplight. My brakes just kick, Holy and I had to fuck. brake with the handbrake Holy the shit. entire way down to downtown Denver, which is like a good 20-minute drive. Dude, I told you early in my learning. How to <laughs> 14 with no brakes. Early in my learning how to drive, I learned how to drive on a Chevette stick shift. Yeah. Shift. And uh, I got that down. But that was an old, just that same thing, grizzly clutch. You know yeah. what I mean? Was like you couldn't fuck it up too much. Yeah. Uh, you can kind of figure it out. And then my mom got a like a, Honda, a little Honda Civic. Yeah, I love With the little box ones. Though. I know exactly which, yeah, my buddy food. They're terrible. That. But they were, uh, and she got DX, that. And that, was the, and that was the one, like, if I stopped in that car... <laughs> I would pop a lot of times. I would fucking fuck up and have to restart the car and do shit. Like first, first gear. I had a real problem with getting in the first gear. I, I wasn't great in second or third either. <laughs> uh, if you were driving me the six fifty, a lot of times you do that thing where you're like, your head goes way forward and jerks way back. You're like ten miles per hour, twenty miles per hour. Second gear, you go oh. <laughs> like, fucking. Your whole body would jerk forward and back. Yeah. For the, yeah. <laughs> 
try to pop that gear. In. But I remember having to go through the Walt Whitman. Uh, Toll. Toll. This is an easy pass days. This is like you got to stop and pay two dollars. There might even be a bucket Dude, there. I'm coming in and I'm there's no I'm coming in talking about coming in hot. I got two dollars. In my hands, waving at the window, going like, "Can't stop! You gotta lift the gate! You gotta lift the gate! I've got two bucks! Can't stop!" Unbelievable. And uh, and the lady did. She's like, "What?" I go, "Can't stop! Clutch! Swing it open! If I if I go any slower, it was gonna it was gonna it's stall all. anyway." Oh. But I couldn't stop. Or I'd be I said I could be possibly sitting there for five minutes trying to get wow. that thing in first gear again. Fuck, that's perfect. I that, talk about one thing like that was the only thing maybe in my life besides comedy that I did like just learning by trial by fire stick shift. My mom gave me a day, and yeah. then it was like figure it out. I mean, I think my step pop took me out once or twice, and he got f fucking furious <laughs> quick. It was when I was like, no, he just let's go. He's yeah. like, let's just go home. He was over it. My mom was she she had to teach me how to do everything. When I was five, I knew driving was going to be a problem because when I was five years old, she didn't have the patience to teach me how to ride a bike. She just kept losing it, and finally she'd be like, I don't know, I don't know. She's just like walking the house. She kicks your back tire, so you fall off last time. Get on the ground, you piece of shit. She gets so mad when I was trying to ride a bike, and I was five, and I was like, I can't do it. And she's like, ah, and she just gave up. So I borrowed my friend's scooter, and I taught myself, I just rode a scooter around, and finally I just learned balance. And I just one day at a park picked my friend's bike up and I could ride it. And I was like, hey, I can ride a bike. And I came home and my mom just didn't care. I was like, I can ride a bike. I taught myself. She's like, yeah, cool. All right, whatever. I gave up, <laughs> I gave up on that months ago. Uh, she goes, oh, yeah, you still wanted to do that? <laughs> oh, cool. All right, well, I guess I got to buy you a fucking bike for Christmas now. Uh, but then when, when it came to driving, I was like, I remembered that. And I told her, I was like, is this going to be a problem? And she's like, I'll be patient. <laughs> Halfway through the day, she's just walking down a street, and I have to go chase after her. Like, all right, I'm sorry I yelled at you. You, you, you were just like you were getting me mad with the zero sixty seven. <laughs> didn't you have like drivers head in high school? Yeah, dude, this was the I best. Didn't. I didn't. Either. I, I did, and I'm like older than you. Yeah, guys. I did. Too. I know. Well, your your first bike was one of those ones with the giant front wheel and the <laughs> tiny back wheel. Hey, <laughs> where are you going? You had to ride bicentennial bikes. Yeah. By the way, I've got. Some you know, I had to grow a mustache <laughs> with handlebars before I could ride that bike. Gino, you allowed to. That's Gino, the balance. If you go down to the market, Gino, can you get some cured meats? <laughs> I think we can have some for this weekend. The, uh, the I'll hold the ladder while you get your bike. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get you uh, one of those bicycles over from the England. Um, <laughs> from the England. We. Uh, yeah, dude. It's so funny to think drivers ed. Mine was this gym. Our, our gym coach. Yeah, Mr. Etsy. Our gym yeah, Mr. coach. Mr. Cooper. Like, Here you go. He shows up. Right for my test, he goes. I can give you your driver's test, so you don't have to take it at the DMV. I'm like, all right. He's like, I got to run errands. I just drove <laughs> no, that's the great. gym teacher around in his Honda Accord. And he's like, park there. Good job. Did you? Live and he goes in. Had Honda he's like, I'm gonna Accords? go play video poker 15 minutes yeah. in this bar. I'm gonna go meet a lady friend. You stay out here. You see Mrs. Cooper. You ring that doorbell. Because <laughs> we officially are in a situation. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> you see Mrs. Cooper walking us out. Uh, you can keep the utilities on, turn the car off, though. Drop that seat back. Let's not anybody see your head in here. Yeah. Questions might be asked. Yeah, now pull it out. Excuse me? <laughs> Let me just see it before I go work this bitch over. Yeah, I got to get a little what? juiced up. I got to put some gas in the tank. Yeah, that was, uh, you didn't have driver's ed at your high school? Uh, I think they all no, the place you? I went to for my senior year, but I'd already had a license at that point. So it's like the school I went to, I switched to South Jersey yeah. to graduate Where'd from. Where'd you go? Triton. To graduate, yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. I didn't have. Oh, any, is that a bad I school? I don't even know. I didn't have any crazy so school old. spirit. <laughs> like I just went. I was blown away by switching schools. It was like a, that sucks, a very man. black school uh, and just very urban. Even not by the terms of black, just like yeah, in a city, kind of very, and also just like everyone. Yeah, it was a very urban school. Yeah, and um, to go to a school that was like suburban, there was without exaggeration like four black kids in my graduating class, I think. I mean, it was crazy. So why did you switch schools? That's late to switch, yeah. junior year into senior That's year. That's just when, when my mom and stepfather both got out of college, finally, and both were and both were uh, working. They bought a house. And that's, that's, where, that's where Philly garbage goes to get a house, dude. But I'm telling you, but why didn't you? You had a license. Gloucester? Why didn't you just drive and finish up at your old high school? Um... I did, but it was it's a it was a hike. Dude. It became a th I did it for a little while. Okay, I think I got into an accident maybe at one point, like a little fender bender thing. But it was one of those things where my mom was just like, "Oh my god, this is not worth it anymore." Yeah, and, it, and, it, it was, and it was my whole day. Yeah, 
And I mean, so were yeah. there hotter girls at your new high school? Because that's always a good way for a guy to get excited about a new it school. It didn't matter to me even you for a second. I, no, it wasn't that. It didn't matter to me in the sense that I was like, I never. High school was not my fucking wheelhouse. Like, yeah, me high neither. School, High school was not my getting pussy times, man, at all. I didn't either, but I got... So, I got, so worrying about where the pretty girls were? Dry hump to, to completion a lot. Yeah. Getting, getting the worry where the... Uh, worrying where the prettier girls were was inconsequential to me. Oh, I never man. thought they would I went to an all-boys high school, so that was done. Really? Did you do that? And, yeah. and in hindsight... I'm you went to an... Merck face went to an all-boys high school? And aren't, Theo, aren't you glad you did? In hindsight, like, me I too. didn't want to. I yeah. was like, oh, I'm not going. But. Hold on real quick. Okay. But Andy, did you go to, like, one of those Spartan high schools where you had to be butt-fucked by an older man and then be in a phalanx, like a military school? Skulls. <laughs> yeah. You are my boy. I will train you to war. First, no. let me fuck you. Uh, scene all prep. West Orange, New Jersey. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. San Augustine total, prep. Total Richland, blue food sesh going on over there. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Will Smith and fucking Six Degrees of Separation? Yeah. Hey, Blazers, sleepers. Blazer shirt and tie every day. You, yep. went, you went to the same high school as Will Smith and, uh, uh, and, and Bill Bellamy. Yeah. Actually, what Bill Bellamy went there. Bill Bellamy yeah. went there? Dude, this is crazy. We got to find this clip. Who's Gus Jokes, Bill's Bellamy? Dude, this guy. <laughs> uh, Lou, I got to find this guy. This guy on Twitter found a clip of me calling into Loveline. Adam Carolla's last week in 2006 before I moved here. And it's me asking Bill Bellamy where I should move for comedy. We'll find the clip. Oh, really? It's like hosted on a website. That's I'll find great. it. And we'll play it on another episode. But it's me being like, oh, hey. This guy tweeted at me. He goes, I'm listening to old love lines. And then a familiar voice struck up. And I was like, you found that clip? I'm so nervous. That's crazy. You, is this um? Is this how to be a player? It's Dr. Drew. And it was so funny because one of the guys, dude, Angelo Lozado, was just at laughs in Tucson, and I was like, yeah, yeah, your buddy Angelo is just here from How to Be a Player, and it's, it's weird that I'm friends with Angelo now. Angelo Lozado's in How to Be a Player, isn't he? No. Did you make that was, up? I made that up. I don't One think of the Angelo guys I've ever been in a movie before. I, I think I'm wrong. I love Angelo. I love. I love Can you Angelo IMDb too. Angelo Lozado? Oh. Uh, hold on, just IMDb how to be a player because I'm. Isn't it still Angel Lozado? <laughs> no. I don't know. I really just fucking sidelined this whole show by bringing No big that up. deal. We have to take a break anyway. I know Jake is behind me losing his cotton picking shit. Are you? What the fuck? He's got to relax. What? I'm all right. No, you're not. He's we working hard. Right. All right, all right, Jacob. It's the bonfire. Hey, this is Ari Shafir, encouraging you to do mushrooms after the bonfire with Big J and Dan. And that feeling was a was a ten pound baby just ripping apart a puss in June of '83. Oh, just punch fucking its way out. Bonfire, Wait, Lou, let, you let that play out. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. I was born to this song. June 83. Wow. That's Big J. Okerson and our guest today, Gino Bisconti. Hey, Bill. From In Hot Water Podcast. Um, Gino's What picks. a great... And Gino's picks. So we're starting picks. up season nine next month. Season nine. Is that retarded? That is, I mean, that's... No, but it's cool. <laughs> it's mentally handicapped. It's, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's retarded. It's unbelievable. It's, it's on the spectrum. <laughs> Dan's been listening to me tell these jokes for eight years. I'm like, they're giving me money now. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Daddy likes. Hold on. We're just... I can't believe this was the biggest oh, dude, song. This song... And the end of this song is my favorite part. That's why I said let it roll. I feel Hallelujah so, now. I, I feel so now. blessed to be born. Ah, what a feeling. Irene Cara, dude. DC Cab. Play yes. yourself. Oh, yeah. Yes, she did. Great movie. Well, one the of the guys was infatuated with her. Was it Charlie Barnett? One of them? I don't know. Bill Maher was in Passion. Make it happen. And Irene Cara also did the, uh, this is the, Thanks. this is from Flashdance. Yeah. But she did the fame song, too. Yeah. What a feel. Oh, man, I want to work out. You guys want to work out right now? <laughs> we, we want you to work out. <laughs> um, We're all hoping to God you work you out. Look good, dude. Also, I just want to say I, I apologize for my lack of... So real good. quick, I want to apologize to say Angelo Lozano is in How to Be a Player. <laughs> It turns out his name's uh, Jesse Collins. It's great info. I think it's a, I think it's an anagram so, for Angelo Lozado. So, Jesse Collins. Sorry, Try Angelo it. Lozado. Yeah, sorry. Jesse. Common mistake. I'm sure. I bet it's the 20th time that's happened today. 
Chrissy Collins. I'm sorry. I'm Again, sorry. for the last time, I am not Angela Lozada. Uh, I am Chrissy Collins. You're, and you're actually Gino Bisconti. You yes, can check out his, his podcast, Hot Water, with co-host Aaron Berg, live Tuesday at 2 p.m. on the Compound Media We have a Network. lot of fun with that, yeah. Also, this coming weekend, you're going to be at the Atlanta... Uh, laughing, laughing skull. Thursday through Sunday. I'm doing a rare Sunday show. So weird. Ooh, that's how good you are at what you do, Bill. That's so yeah. weird. Tickets but at fun club. Tickets at danceorder.com. Big J's going to be at Zany's in Chicago. It's a waste of time. That was two days ago. That's Christine's fault. He was at Zany's, and I've heard amazing things. I'll hit her. <laughs> Sick of mucking hair. Just don't let me be in the room. We're going to push helium. Philly, <gasps> we could have pushed any number of things. Where are you in Philly? Where are you in Philly? Christine doesn't understand the working calendar. What? <laughs> she doesn't understand. Did, did you say something? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> can't wait to see her beat the shit out of you after she, she's taping. She doesn't understand a Christian calendar. Uh, <laughs> when are you at Helium Philly? Um, if Christina wrote that on a piece of paper, I might know the answer to that. Uh, but I'm going to Stanford and Sons to meet with Craig Glazer. Here's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> MC's going to do 15 minutes, and yeah, the, the feature's going to do 20. Then Craig's going to come. Now, here's the part. He's going to kill a man. You're going to watch a little boy drown in a river. Um, After that happens, you'll be emotionally <laughs> scarred. The only thing that'll help you. By the way, if Craig's going to pick you up in a Lotus. I am. And then, Have you ever been in a Lotus? It's like a Ferrari if a retarded kid made it. <laughs> Sorry, manly handicap. If you knew who we were talking about, the manager of the company. Why don't we play? Oh, I, I have not looked at this yet, and he sent it to me a few times now. I think Craig Glazer, the owner, one of the owners of Stanford and Sons Comedy Club in Kansas City, is a character and a fucking half. Absolutely. He's made some web series <laughs> no. that Stop we could... It. Park right over here, my friend Dan Soto. Let's take a gander at Craig Glazer. Now, Craig Glazer, what's great about him, he is, and we will have this, inevitably have this fight again in a few weeks when I'm there the first weekend in August. Kansas City, Kansas. Um, when I worked at it, it was Kansas, Kansas. Yeah, it's, um, he is a, just, a, just a notorious character. He asks me every time, you have to do bits on radio, but he just goes on radio with you and does all the radio. Himself, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like a local celebrity. He's a, he's just a, a hilarious, hilarious, goofy character. Yeah, here we go. Craig Glazer, a man and his dog. Wait, pause it for one second, too. Dude, you, you know, know he's, so he's, got a, he's got a book out. You know, he was, like, notoriously a criminal. Like, he... He used to like. He uh, says he, was, sting. he did sting operations for the government, but then he ended up going to jail for eleven years because he he would like rip off drug dealers posing as cops. Yeah, it's That's a great. By the way, crazy. I read it's, it's, entire, it's, it's like a, a hacker where they where they basically then hire him. The cops hire him to do that for them. And he's got a book out called The King of Sting, which he signed a copy for me the week I worked there. I know. Oh, me too. I read it. About dude. Him. The best thing is uh, I'm the King of Sting. Yeah, he, uh, he he's just he is he's just such a character. That it, it's just amazing. But we're in a car and we're on our way back from radio. And he's like, so what do you got working on? You're with CAA. What do you got going on? I'm like, oh, well, I can't really tell anybody, but I just signed a deal to write an animated show with the head writer of SNL, Brian Tucker. This is years ago. It was like three years ago. And he goes, ah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I find his blog the next week, and he goes, Dan Soder is writing an animated <laughs> show with the head writer of SNL. I'm like, hey, fuck, stick. I know no one reads this, but you can't be putting my shit out there like that. Dude, he is great. He is wildly inappropriate. Yeah. He's, oh, the, kind of like guy, he's the kind of guy with, like, like, like pet... Pat your girlfriend on her ass. And he's just like, he's just that guy. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Dude, I won't work his club again because he left me on a Saturday night and just there was no manager or anybody to control the audience. I just started headlining and there were so many drunk, oh, yeah. just animals screaming oh, and no one was I there to do it. anything. And I was just on stairs putting out fires. And then, dude, I'll never forget before the show, he goes, all right, I get out of here. I got a slut at the bar waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just left. And I remember being on stage. It's hard to get mad at the guy. She's really, uh, I mean, we're talking like blowjob in the car on the way to the condo. <laughs> and you can't be mad at him then. You, I'm yeah. never mad at him. I think he is uh, world class <laughs> i love him top notch i think he's now now we have any of this information 11 years in jail picks you up for radio in a lotus like pretty woman <laughs> and takes you to radio is that the car richard Gere was driving and, and pretty woman yeah 
That's right. <laughs> check out the. Do you have to climb egg, down egg, a egg. fire escape to get to the car? Is My that what fucking you have to do? fat ass trying to squeeze I into a lotus, <laughs> and then he takes you out, and then he takes you out for waffles after thing. I, I love him. I think he's I, I, when he's around, it's equal parts uncomfortable and full of joy. <laughs> I'm so happy. But let's watch Craig Glazer in a, a Man and His Dog, episode one. I, lo- I love that you said he'd pat your girlfriend on her ass. Yeah. I feel like it, yeah. With a your welcome face. There you go, sweetie. A little something for you. Years. I know. I'm not gay. My wife bought him, and she was trying to like solidify our relationship. Back He's holding a dog. Age, we married and moved into this condo back in 03. By the way, I pause it. My wife's Pause it. The and back it up a little bit. The joke I've already made, like like bullet point words. He says yeah. he's already. Did, he goes hey, with the condo. He said condo already. Yeah, I, it's we're, like we're I know this guy point. inside now. He's great. I feel like he's holding the dog, and he seems like he's describing why he has this dog. Back in '03, the irony: my wife's gone, but Junior's still here because he loves me. Right. Well, he also. I don't do hold on, pause it real quick. Uh, he doesn't really have a choice. He's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, he relies on you for stuff like shelter and food. Uh, this is Buster. And uh, we basically ride around the Lotus and just try to pull hot puss. <laughs> just yeah. fucking hot box in the condo. <laughs> We're best friends. The yeah. <laughs> only problem is Buster is a, uh, a rabid Obama supporter. And also, Not a fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to point a reference also, he sort of looks like Sex Machine from Dust Till Dawn. Tom Savini. <laughs> Would not have gotten that reference. Would not have gotten that. Oh, uh, it's a great one. That's great. I would not have gotten it. Anyone in the room who gets it though is getting uh, it's it. gold. I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like I've, I've I, I feel like I lost my man card a little bit on uh, not getting that. I'm still getting it. Hold on. <laughs> See, I mean the way dance, I'm like I feel left out. I suck. Ah, uh, dude, the sex machine is the perfect call. All right, I'll just know him talk some more. Back a lot of nights when I'd come home and bring like bimbos over to like you know do weird <laughs> sex stuff. Boom. The whole nine yards. Junior would interfere, and he'd start licking him right, Junior. And then they'd want to leak because they wear that yucky dog breath on him. But in the end, I thought, well, you guys smell too, so what's the difference? Anyway, as it turned out, it worked out great because they'd Hold leave. On, time out. Don't you love how That's he's like, I miss my dead wife, and three seconds later, when I bring bimbos home. No, dude, he, a- is, he is 125% confidence. Yeah, dude, he is, that's so funny. He's like, I love it. He's like, you know, we're having threesomes, and the dog jumps in, and I'm like, hey, get his little dog wet, dick wet, you know? <laughs> I got this bimbo, and then, you know, she comes around, and like, uh, she's like, dog starts licking her ass, and I'm like, this. I'm cool with that. I've been around the world. <laughs> I mean, bimbo? Where do you I'm pick a- her up? The regal beagle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a traveler. She, <laughs> I got that reference. She, you know, she sells cigarettes on a casino floor. She's seen everything. So, uh, you know, she looks at me and she goes, your dog just looked my asshole. I go, honey, uh, that wasn't my dog. That was me. That's not like a down, baby. I come in, I spread the cheeks, and I tongue fuck your butthole. I'm like, if you're going to party, baby, we're going to party. I mean, we came all the way here in a Lotus. I don't pay all that money a month for that car to not tongue your butthole. Kansas. I assume you're going to return the favor. I will get you an Uber home. Kansas is such a flat, a flat state that if you don't eat ass, it's like a, you know, move up to Colorado or do something. You know, Lewis and Clark came through here. I didn't pull it out for air. Suck it. Now, Lewis and Clark uh, pulled up, set up port. Go play it. <laughs> Get rid of so Junior and I can watch TV the rest of the night. I mean, what do you do with these bims when you're done banging them? They're worthless. Right, Junior? Bims. <laughs> Junior, God damn it. Get back up here. Now, that's an old dog, too. What do you do with these bims? Dude. Hashtag think about it. Think about it. Think about it. That's, That's great. Is there an episode two? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ride these out. Dude, I'm gonna this guy's classic. I mean, by the way, there's no. We had a girl who lived, who just moved to Denver, who lived in our building, uh, who lived in, in the East Village. Yeah. Uh, and she's from. Kansas City. Yeah. And I just say before I go, uh, yeah, the Glazers Club. She's like, oh, Stanford and Sons. Yeah, the, the, those Glazer guys. Yeah, there's like infamous in town. Like, There's more than one? I don't know what you mean. It was, it was their brothers, but it's Stanford. No, it was is their father. I think he passed away, but it was their father. Um, there's three brothers now who run it. All like uh, some version of recovering or not recovering drug uh, addict. Uh, the sweetest one, like the real sweetheart of them, uh, actually passed away kind of sadly in a car accident a few years back. Um, and the other two were just such characters, but they're just like, I don't know. I find them, 
Your impression? I don't find them malicious at all. I just find they're them, not malicious. They're just they are a hundred percent in their engaging. Kansas City world of thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hence, Craig Glazer's he, he a man to, and his dog. Uh, he tried show. to compliment me the first time he met me. He tried to compliment me. He goes, ah, you, "Yeah, this, this guy's like a real man. You're not a faggot, are you?" <laughs> I, go, I go, "No, why?" He goes, "Thank you for the compliment." He goes, what? "Not like you would be, you know. Not like uh, you would tell me you were if you are." After I said that, I was like, I, "What? Hi, I'm Dan." <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to headlining. Hello, Dude, there was a girl. I heard there's a Dave and Buster's close. <laughs> Dude, there was a girl. Came the, I, I met a girl outside of uh, Stanford and Sons. She was hysterically crying. Okay. I kind of watched some dude walk away from her. She was hysterically crying. Now, I guess she was in the first show. Or no, she was coming to the second show, but her and her boyfriend had a big fight, like literally in front of the club. And I was at the side smoking a cigarette. And I saw her crying. I felt bad, and she was like, "Oh my god, she was like, this like, we came to see you, and now this is whole night's gone to shit." And he just, I don't know where the hell he went. So I just did the old like, genuinely being polite. This wasn't like a fucker thing. I was like, oh, "If you want to come watch the show, so I said I'll bring you into the back. You know, I'll say you can watch the show if you have a drink if you want." And she was like, "Yeah, she's maybe I'll do that." And she ended up doing that. She comes back, pretty girl, a little older, maybe at the time like I was in my late twenties. Or early 30s, and she was like in her mid 30s or something like that. Yeah. And um, good body, though. I remember that. And she had like a tattoo like on her, you know, her lower stomach kind of thing. Fiori crest. And she, yeah. And she's crying a bunch of, and coming off of that and telling the story about her boyfriend being shitty. And Craig Glazer, I remember he goes, goes, What's that tattoo right there? And he's like, Tugs her pants down where you like, see her puss hair and shit. Jesus. He's like, it's just such an aggressive. But, it's, but the thing is, like, she didn't care. And it was like, such a weird, like. Because she's a bim. Those guys. He's, he's a, a, she's a bim. bim. Damn right, bitch. What are you going to do? He got us in a read when he's getting up. He's got a bim on his hands. What do you do with these bims? Uh, go ahead and play it. Man and his dog episode two. They're only a minute long each. The first one was a cliffhanger. So when people come over and find out I have these little dogs and cat, that you know, they, I don't know, because these these this little dogs and they like to lick, they like to lick you all over your body, and these girls will be spending the night, you know. Unfortunately, I have multiple girlfriends. You know, I've never learned after my wife or before her. I've just settled down. He's not one. kidding. They're all crazy. But anyway, what I've noticed is they're all very curious. Like, you know, I was in prison, and what did they want to know? You know, did you get banged in the butt in prison? Well, of course not. But they all want to. Ask. That's the first question. Well, when they see the dog licking your legs and getting close to your, you know, your dick and their butt, well, they're, what do you think they think? They go, oh my God, you let that dog suck your dick till you come? And I go, and that never happens. It's a crime if I do. Junior, get back up here. He said trigger. That is. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the guy from Windy City Heat. Where you're like, are you in on the joke? <laughs> like, he get... sort of like is, but he's not. But I'm like, do you get that it's like... Um... How many views does it have? 9,000 this one. Christ. You know, when a dog's blowing you. Oh, a different shirt. Oh, Ooh. yeah, this is great. Yeah. Dude, like, I love there's, that two, there's two ab- more short parts. It almost looks like he's just abusing his dog. Like, he's like, hey, come here. Sit next to me. There's two I more short you. parts. Two more short parts. Also, I love that he always wears poker sunglasses. Like he's about to go oh. to poker. Tinted purple. Yeah. What's he doing? A man is dog episode three. Jeff, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, You're the right. best baby. You're the best baby. He's a boy dog. You ready? So I don't remember her name, but she had huge boobs. She was a dancer. What a shock! All right, she was a stripper. So she'd never been on the plaza or eating at Capitol Grill. And you know, at that time, I had a Lotus, and I was telling, and, and, and Junior gets involved later in the story, but. But, you know, I promised to take her to Capitol Grill. If you've ever been to the Plaza, Capitol Grill is one of the nicest restaurants, but it has a bar, dining area in front, and if you're going to spend real money, they seat you in the back. Well, I go in with jeans, the ripped T-shirt. She's got her boobs hanging out, black check figures, so, you know, everybody's staring at me, wondering how much she costs. <laughs> so then they seat me in the front. This bitch, I told her just to order me, a, you know, one drink and a salad. I see a friend of mine, Mike Rosso, the guy that owns Rosso, and another tech guy. We go up front. No, I'm not connected to anybody. But anyway, so we're talking out in front, and a half hour goes by. I come back in. The table is full of food. I mean, lobster tails, filet mignon, bottles of wine. I, I'm not making this up, guys. It looked like a buffet for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I said, is this my table? The waitress went, yeah. And I go, who's all this food for? She goes, sir, I assume you and your date. I'm on my date. I mean, Buffalo woman, she's sitting there eating like the Comanche Indians are coming. So 
I get a bill for over, I'm not making this up nor exaggerating, over $300 for the meal. And we haven't even had that's that bad. That's my bar tab. Have you seen me? Let me pause that. That's not that bad. Uh, uh, I really hate him complaining about his Kansas City money. $300? You know, that cost me $14 and a ticket on a bus. A buffet of lobster tail flame and yon? You have $300? I come back. There's an entire roasted pig on the table. <laughs> There's also 14 bottles of Ace Champagne. Ace. I look over, I go, how much does this cost? They go... Sixty dollars. I go. I can't cover that. They put this black stripper in a cauldron. We're all dancing around it. Uh, I, uh, it turns out they have her in an illegal underground mandingo fight. <laughs> I come back in. The boobs are out. Of course, this bim's taping up her knuckles. <laughs> she's cr she's cracking. Her neck. <laughs> She's cracking her neck. She's getting ready to turn loose, as black chicks often do. <laughs> <laughs> Let it roll. Deal. And we haven't even had a drink yet. And I am pissed. And she goes, You're mad at me. Well, obviously, what is she doing, guys? Junior. She's trying to order all the stuff to take home since so she has a refrigerator full of lobster and flame and yum for the rest of her life, I guess. So we get in the car. I'm for $300? Hang on, and pause this. Oh, yeah. If you can feed a black stripper for the rest of her life for $300 of filet mignon lobster tail, yeah, just she, do it. Yeah, she's not a Chinese fighting fish. <laughs> <laughs> but it does show just I like... I got this girl. I treat her like I got a new beta. <laughs> you know, I, just, I put her in a glass of water. I put another black stripper in a glass of water, and I let them look at each other. It's a oh, Siamese shit. fighting fish. Back up a little, a little tiny bit. She wants to keep uh, lobster for life. Oh, this is that's. <laughs> well, obviously, what is she doing, guys? Junior, she's trying to order all the stuff to take home since so she has a refrigerator full of lobster and flaming and yum for the rest of her life, I guess. So we get in the car. I'm not talking. She goes, "You're never gonna take me out again, are you?" And I go, "Probably not, because you're, you know, a bitch and an asshole." And she goes, "I'm really sorry. What can I do to make it up to you?" And I go, "Nothing." Well, you could like find another chick and bring her over. I guess that would like, you know less than the blow of that $300 food bill before he got to the liquor. We get home. Of course, what happens next, guys? Junior tell her. She couldn't get a hold of one girl. I had to call a girl. This girl comes over, crazy Carrie, the porn star, and she's, well, she couldn't even walk across the parking lot. It's 3 in the morning. The black chick, the stripper, she was good looking, totally naked. I couldn't get her naked, but when she saw the girl, she wanted to be naked. I get crazy Carrie in. She's with a driver. She goes, he's my driver. He looked young. He was 18. I go, who's this teenage kid you brought in? Just, you know, watch me and do a threesome in front of him. She goes, don't worry. He's my son. He's seen me do it before. What? Junior. Wait. What? You so, have, dude, hashtag think about it, bro. Yeah, think, uh, about, think, about, it. think, about, think about how much damage has been done to that 18-year-old kid. It God, should be hashtag try to forget about it. Did yeah. you describe the music video for uh, On the Road Again? Uh, oh, turn the page? Turn the Metallica? page, Metallica? I do my life whatever I want to. I have filet mignon I lobster. I do it for the money, and no one can tell me that they can raise their kid any bit. Well, we might, as well, <laughs> we might as well close it out. Do oh, that. never mind. There's there's several more. Yeah, there's oodles more. There's oodles more. You don't do a season. It's not like... No, I think, I think there's five total. It's not an IMC series. He did like 13 eps. Come on. These are not getting worse, by the way. <laughs> They're getting better. They're getting hey, better. that was the one that had the the Lotus. He said the Lotus. Oh, yeah. You know Bim, key, Lotus. Bims. It's like everyone's got your keyword I'm in it. A, I'm hot to trot. I get this girl. Now, she takes a dump in the parking lot. <laughs> I pick it up. We have a snowball fight. Okay? I think, we can, go, I think we can go straight, watch the last two, and then we wrap to wrap the show. It's but crazy. Also, here's what happens. I involve myself in a major cocaine deal. Now, I'm all yacked up. I got a Filipino he -she behind me with a gun Filipino pointing at my back. <laughs> Right? I look over, I go, hey, you ever been to the Capitol Grill? I'm a pretty big deal in Kansas City. The Filipino Ishii looks at me and goes, money now, you die. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, two colored girls just get in my car. Now, I stopped at a red light, these, they just get in. These bims are hot. <laughs> now, clearly these chicks are prostitutes, <laughs> but... You know, I'm known around town. People kind of dig my style. They feel my flavor. Before I know it, they're not charging me. I'm going down on one while I'm finger blasting the other. Now, you know what I call that? I call that the cornucopia. 
<laughs> because you're in your faces with all the fruit, but then your tail is where it really matters. <laughs> all right. Let's do these last two. I know people are like, I hate videos, but you can hear no, this. No, 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 no. This does not. Listen, the video. Says, he's petting a dog we'll, the entire time. We'll, we'll, tweet yeah, out yeah. A, we'll tweet out a picture of Craig. We'll tweet these actual videos out, but you'll see it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're listening. You're laughing at the you're same listening. thing. We're laughing. This is at. worth it. We're not it, watching yes. people fall down. We're watching this guy talk about banging bims. Yeah, and if you're not sure, he looks exactly like he sounds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got these tinted cla- shades on. And this scruff and this pockmarked skin. I got a. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate shit. That was awesome. Okay, here we go. I just want to switch seats so I can watch these. This last isn't some Rick Astley reveal. Like, the yeah, first time you had never want to give you up. Like, never that, what? Give. Yeah, that's a white guy. Give, never going to give. Ah, oh, these are fucking Roll great. It. Go. He's got two dogs. Two dogs now. And this is Coco, and this is Junior. Junior was my first dog that my wife bought so we'd have a long-lasting marriage. I know. And it would all work out. And she told me it would last forever. Forever's four and a half years. Anyway, Hi. then I... Uh, Pause another- real quick. He's, uh, he's still holding on to that one, huh? Yeah. I don't oh, think yeah. he brings it up enough. Oh, Do you stinks. think she's like, hey, can you stop talking about me in your web series? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> hey. thought she was dead. Oh, can dude, please, yeah. Can you please stop? I'm sorry to interrupt, because this just got weird. There was a different case. Junior was my first dog that my wife bought, so we'd have a long-lasting marriage, and it would all work out. And she told me it would last forever, forever's four and a half years. Anyway, then I uh, had another girlfriend that dropped this little chihuahua pup off named Coco. Her name was Chocolate Becky, and uh, she promised she'd come back. She dropped him on Friday and get him Monday. That was four years ago. Oh, see how Junior is? So I tried to get these two to be buddies, maybe boyfriend, girlfriend, because he's a boy dog, she's a boy dog. But they're, what do you call them? They're spayed in? What do they, there's another word, in stereo? They cut neutered. off their nuts. Neutered, that's it. Neutered and spayed. So, but, you know, you know, I know they're neutered and spayed, but I still try to get them to fuck. It's I put spayed, a, I put, by uh, the way. Spayed is what he did with chocolate black sun <laughs> that left him the dog. Here's what I do. is uh, I get an industrial-sized rubber band, and I slap <laughs> it around both of them. Now, I can't put their parts in each other, but I kind of hope, you know, lead a horse to water. I play some music. I got a sound system with the speakers are in the walls. <laughs> one of those types, so that's pretty cool. I have a I have a Sono system, so wherever I play in the house, it plays through all the house speakers. Have you ever seen a you ever seen a fireplace controlled by a, by a remote control? <laughs> <laughs> I just downloaded the new album. Now that's what I call music for dogs to fuck to, Volume One. Now again, I got a whole drawer full of these industrial rubber bands. So if <laughs> oh, I snap yeah, out of one, yeah. I just put another one on. If they fuck, I give them three hundred dollars of leftover food from the last <laughs> video. Remember that three hundred dollars thing? Well, I keep that in a pit out back. I just feed them all this old meat. <laughs> You know what? We may have to put, we may have to stop this one and leave it as a to be continued. TBT because yeah, we don't have time to watch both. All right, let's just watch this one. We, we can will. finish this one. You can't tease me. I got to see what happens with these two dogs in the rubber band. It reminds me of a story. It's my birthday, and nobody bought me a cake. Can you believe it? So uh, this girl I kind of see. Her and her mom came to my own comedy club, Stanford. Since they came to hey, dinner and see hey. the show, they were they were thrilled. They had a free dinner. You know, they didn't have very much money. It was a big deal. They wore their Sunday best. So then they came over and had Junior and Coco. Well, the uh, young girl who was 25 wanted to take a shower because, you know, she wanted to have sex. Oh, you don't want to hear the rest of the story, Junior? Like, so, so, you know, Coco, you're just a girl dog. So the other lady, her mom, who was about 45, went in the bathroom to go to the bathroom, I assume, and I'm waiting here right where I'm sitting right now. The mother came out naked and said, for your birthday, I'm going to give you a blowjob. Now, I've done a lot of threesomes and crazy stuff in my life, but I've never done a mother-daughter team. The young girl was hot in the 20s. The mom was, yeah, okay, but I went, you know what? We'll mark it off the bucket list. So I didn't want to upset anyone, so I sat down and let her give me, nee, 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 right? The dogs were watching. It was kind of weird. And then the young girl came out and was slapping her mom in the butt. And we were done, and I, you know, shot my willy, gave her, you know, whatever. You know, I really didn't want to hang out with them anymore, but I wanted to be polite. You got to be polite, right? It was my birthday one. Hey, girls, if you want to go back to my bedroom and all lay down naked, we can do that. And the younger looks at me and she goes, What kind of a girl do you think I am? That's my mother, goddammit! 
Wow. I do not want to see his bucket list. No, do that's I do so bad. Yeah, that's that's a J bucket list. I want to make a fuck, I want to make another web series where I take him around to do his bucket list stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's like that Morgan Freeman movie where yeah. you're just doing you're just living out all your stuff. I want to drive through a black Mike, black Black Lives Matters protest with a Mack truck. <laughs> make it happen, Jay. I want black Jay, face. You know, get on that. I, I need you to get on that as I fast want, as possible. I want to skydive completely buck naked. <laughs> And land on a mother-daughter team. Oh, so shit. I look at her and I go, where's your father? And she goes, he died in the first Gulf War. I go, there was only 79 casualties, so your dad sucks at war. <laughs> anyway, uh, Gina- grandma's sucking me off. The aunt comes in. Uh, so, it all stories are the aristocrats? Yeah, if you think we're not going to continue this on Wednesday, you are wrong. Oh, don't worry, we have this whole other episode. Yeah, but again, Gino Bisconti, thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. I feel cool that I got grandfathered in under the first season, whatever umbrella that we Yeah, you yeah. did. You absolutely you did. Check out Gina Bisconti's podcast, Hot Water with co-host. In Hot Water. In in hot water. Trust I made me. the same mistake. In hot water. I don't. I apologize. Also, I didn't mean to flip out. I was so his offended. co-host, a good buddy of ours, Aaron Berg, who we really have to have comedian. on the show. Yeah. That that studly man. It's uh, every Jew. every Tuesday at two p.m. on the Compound Media Network. Big J Okerson. It's going to be a Just for Laughs comedy festival in Montreal next week. Going to be hosting three What's Your Fucking Deal crowd work show and off the cuff comedy show. So make sure you check that out. It's going to be at Cafe Cleopatra. Tickets available at BigJComedy.com. Also a special live at Webster Hall. Even though it says I produced it, I promise you I didn't. But go on and check it out on iTunes and CCDirect.com. And uh, Shaving Jacob, our live episodes tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow There's no night. tickets available, but you'll be able to hear all of, uh, about what happens. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic live event. Uh, Danny Soder, special, not special, available on iTunes. Yeah. Uh, Spotify, everything now, right? Yeah. There That's was a special. One, so- some guy emailed me. I got to get back to him. There was one we were promoting that he said it's not on there, but uh, um, well, it's definitely available on iTunes as a special and as an album. Yeah, and I'm going to be at the uh, Laughing Skull in Atlanta. Yes, Thursday, July 21st through Sunday, July 24th. You thought I wasn't going to say it? No, tickets I think are, you were. But tickets I, are available at DanSoder. I felt bad because you didn't have one and I had it in front of me. I memorized your things. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Gino. I love you, buddy. Yeah, Thanks I love for being you here, you gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me. Catch you guys live, I believe. Prince Fiore. Say goodbye. Bye, Prince Fiore. (laughs) Live Wednesday. Crackle, crackle.